welcome to this session from igno regional center kochi the session open uh, session come enrichment session uh, on my startup journey by shri krishna gopal singh co founder of vishwake sena agro and dairy private limited and vishwake sena herbs and aromatic private limited diha and we are also grateful to dr vishnu mohan das professor b r ambedkar college university of delhi for introducing this report person shri krishna gopal singh uh, shri Go krishna gopal singh is an entrepreneur and is a founder of two startup uh, companies which are flourishing now one in dairy sector and another one in herbs and aromatics sector and he is masters in social entrepreneurship from the department of social work at karnataka uh, university darwar and bachelor in social work from the department of social work at university of delhi and sir has worked with national and international organization also today his uh, uh, view of uh, how he started up uh, and how he conceived the idea and how he developed what are the challenges and how he has come reached so far and what are the hurdles he has crossed what are the challenges he, uh, he look forward uh, to meet as he climbs up the ladder because the higher the career ladder the more challenges it is said and uh, for a newcomer what will be a small life skill uh, to listen to such a hero of today as uh, enrichment session as a resource person is take one day at a time definitely sir also would agree uh, one day he would have taken one day at a time and as he climbs the career ladder he also would say yes i will uh, take one day at a time when certain uh, situations are very uncertain and now i request dr prasita munikrishnan to share about the innovation club and also lead to the resource person for this uh, delegation sir thank you very much uh, shri krishna gopal singh for being a resource person of igno regional center kochi today thank you over to dr prasita krishna thank you dorothy madam uh, for introducing shri krishna gopal singh ji as a resource person for today's session in fact the session is being held as a part of the national startup day celebrations which is being observed in india to celebrate the successes of the startup community uh, in fact the day is observed in order to give startup business owners a forum to talk about the innovation for india's youth and their contribution to the economy uh, additionally it is also intended to highlight the importance of startup initiatives and more than the representatives of society at a large and the initiative also has the goal of encouraging young people to pursue entrepreneurship as their primary career option to give, just give you a brief about the innovation club at regional center coaching the same was initiated under the encouragement of national center for innovations in distance education and eco headquarter new delhi and uh, it's basically a facility for promoting supporting reengineering and dissemination disseminating innovations in open and distance learning and the ncid is also ground for nurturing bright and inquisitive minds whose ideas and explorations are expected to develop the system to suit the needs of the generation next under igno regional center kochi a series of monthly lecture identified as open session to management session has also been held since september 2018 and the sessions are basically held with an objective to enrich and generate awareness amongst the learners of igno on a wide range of topics ranging from time management career management e support services of igno and uh, uh, the latest uh, being the unleashing the power of uh, effective communication life enhancement skills and it's also a platform to resolve the student grievances with, sub with respect to the subject the student is pursuing at igno in fact we are very happy that we have a very young and budding entrepreneur shri krishna gopal singh ji who is a co-founder of Vishwaki Sena Agro and Dairy Private Limited and also the co-founder of Vishwaki Sena Herbs and Aromatic Private Limited as a resource person to deliver on on the day on the topic of my startup journey uh, on behalf of all at Igno Regional Center Kochi I wholeheartedly extend my sincere gratitude to you 
uh, for uh, for uh, accepting our invitation on such a short notice and agreeing to be with us today in this session. I once again wholeheartedly invite you for the session and over to you, Sri Krishna Gopal Singh Ji, for the talk. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, so uh, I will start from uh, my educational journey because the why what I think that uh, education is the pillar for the uh, for casting the future and what uh, we are planning, what we have to do is the basic comes from the education. So uh, I uh, I belong from the Bihar and uh, my primary education started for, uh, in the Bihar. Uh, after the completing 10 plus 2, I come back to Delhi for the higher education. I took admission in uh, Delhi University in social work, uh, uh, Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar College in, so, uh, in BA social work. After that, I migrated to uh, uh, for master, taking master degree from the Karnataka University in uh, master in social entrepreneurship. If you see that there is change between the social work to entrepreneurship the reason behind that is the uh, when i was doing a study i had taken the uh, admission in delhi university at that time united nation uh, was focusing on the millennium development goal mdg goal and when i completed my uh, bachelor i come to know that the united nation is shifting their goal from the millennium development goal to sustainable development goal so I took uh, the opportunity that the uh, coming future is about the sustainability and all the things. Then I took admission in the uh, social entrepreneurship course. While doing the study, uh, I also uh, do lots of uh, field work with the different different NGO, national and international NGO in Delhi and different part of the India. And I also completed my ad advanced diploma in counseling and diploma in NGO management from the NS Patel College. Uh, Gujarat. If you see that the Delhi, Karnataka, Gujarat, so every place where uh, I spend some of the time in, in terms of uh, for the taking the education, I interact with the people, I interact with the farmers, I interact with the community to understand what their uh, major problem, what uh, how they are do, uh, dealing with that. Uh, while spending time in the uh, Gujarat, I come to know that the the only the sustainability can be happen through the generating some business activity. Maybe the it will enterprise maybe for profit or social enterprise. Then I converted my first uh, enterprise for profit uh, organization that's called Vispesna Agro and Dairy Private Limited. Earlier we started uh, this company to promote dairy in the Bihar because you see that all the if uh, agriculture productivity and the per capita income in the Bihar is lowest in the India. So I come, uh, I uh, sit with the farmer, sit with the people, try to understand what's their major problem. So I develop a technique according to their problem. We started solving, the, uh, targeting their uh, solution. So the Vizkesna Agro was found in 2017 with my uh, uh, co-founder by Dr. Arundhati, she also done a study with uh, me in the uh, bachelor. So uh, our belief was that the, if there is any problem in the society or any place, the, every problem come with the solution. Though solution uh, 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 helps to create some new things. So what we uh, find that, that in Bihar, in uh, northern part of the Bihar, we see that the lychee is the major crop and uh, more than 45 percent of total production of lychees come from that area so it's the huge uh, things what we uh, find in the um, uh, farmer side and we uh, start working on that so we uh, developing solution to the farmer uh, from the farm management to the harvesting and the buyback of the fruits because the farmer earlier farmers say, sell their orchard for the particular price then we start the, uh, slowly, slowly, we started work with the farmer, they convinced them. And after the convincing, the lots of farmer start doing, they are not selling their orchard to the any contractor. So we start giving him the uh, uh, 
support system in the problem what we found that the uh, the farmer are not getting the better price the uh, the reason was that the the quality of the lychee are not too good because they are not investing money on the orchard management system or not investing money on the uh, package and practice ad adopting the package and practice for the improving the quality of the lychee and even they are not investing any single rupees only in that uh, time of uh, uh, flowering or fruiting they spend money but if you see that if you are not investing single money uh, before uh, harvesting of fruits in the every crop have their own certain cycle uh, when they have to uh, do pruning when do uh, to fertilization and mulching everything so we start doing uh, providing the support system how can you improve the quality of the fruits what activity you have to do in the orchard um, even we started the intercropping in the orchard because if you see that the few crops like uh, turmeric ginger uh, um, elephant yam even uh, satavari sarpaganda they are uh, they can be cultivated in the orchard and they gives the better return when uh, the farmer uh, start doing the uh, cultivation in the orchard of turmeric and ginger the cost of the uh, pest management decreased to the 30 to 40 percent that's what the one of the uh, solution we offer to them in the uh, in the solution part we have divided into two segment one is service uh, in service we give to cost to cost basis we do not charge any profit from that uh, we established one custom hiring center where uh, we have uh, kept a tractor a sprayer pre-cooler and all the things available uh, the resource required for the maintaining the orchard is on cost to cost basis and Again, if you see that the product, we uh, made a uh, few products, we developed uh, our own uh, one unique product uh, that is a uh, fragmented lychee juice uh, is the, in that fragmented lychee juice, there is 1.5% of alcohol. So it's the different variety of is the lychee, but the taste is something different. In market, you will find the fresh fruits, lychee juice, squash, but you can't find the dehydrated lychee pulp, fragmented lychee pulp and those things so we start providing the all the things we be providing to b2b not b2c uh, from this year we are coming to in the b2c segment this all the things is into b2b seg uh, segment that uh, that's the easy uh, for us to uh, make money from that uh, if you have money then you start investing in the final product and while uh, if you see that uh, center we uh do canopy management uh, center opening because uh, in if you see the lychee crop uh, if the sunlight comes on the those part that part will be good for the fruiting so it's the unique things in the lychee and we also train the farmer to how to do all the activity right now uh, more than uh, 16 fpo uh, working with the, us in one fpo more than 400 farmers are associated with us because we changed our model because the earlier we support the farmer and after some time the the policy of the government has been changed so we also change our policy from individual farmer to fpo because uh, after uh, shifting to, from the farmer to fpo model we find that the uh, our task is very easy uh, lots of the things we provide to the farmer we trained the few staff of the fpo and the those staff trained all the farmers mm -hmm. so it's the uh, less hectic job for, for us and again we have rts lichimis because the dehydrated lychee fruits because the lychee fruits comes for only for 25 days you can't find the lychee in the uh, after 25 days you can't find a single piece of lychee in the bihar ah, uh, lychee starts from the um, tirpura and ends with uh, uh, in june uh, july uh, june uh, july first week in the pathan coat area because it's come from the tirpura assam uh, west bengal bihar up 
उत्तराखंड पंजाब हिमाचल एंड जम्मू इन द इन दिसंबर एंड जनवरी यू कैन फाइंड लीची इन द केरला नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ द केरला एंड द साउदर्न पार्ट ऑफ कर्नाटका द बिकॉज दीज इज एक्जॉटिक क्रॉप एंड इट्स वनली दे हैव लेस सेल्फ लाइफ सो लीची कैंट वी एस्टोर फॉर द लॉन्ग टाइम we developed the sop for the lychee for the marketing that uh, in that we have particular size it, uh, certain bricks uh, certain packaging standards certain coloring method that will really help to the consumer to understand the which quality they are consuming and apart from the working with the uh, these all the things we find that the uh, the lychee have very uh, less shelf life so we start working on the increasing the shelf life of the lychee so we developed the uh, uh, some uh, herbal spray for the uh, leech uh, that help to increase the shelf life the, of the leech which is the uh, major achievement for the us to increasing the shelf life of the leech because if we if uh, the result is in positive what we found that if we will achieve a certain benchmark then will be able to provide a one month leech will be available for the one month extra if the leech ends in the july the market will able to access that those leech in Jul- uh, july and august also that will be a thing we we have to file the provisional patent all the things is under process and if you see that the uh, while developing the the increasing the shelf life of the lychee we found that the other vegetables also infect with the fungi so we have done the uh, trial on the lychee again we trial on the different uh, uh, vegetable we also find that the is it doing uh, giving the better result on that so if you find that the we have done the experiment of the whole the um, lychee if you see that the uh, uh one is treated lychee and one is untreated lychee if you find the, the the fungus growth so it will be help to understand the if we control the fungus the brownish of the lychee can be controlled easily and while uh, working uh, we developed the uh, the complete ecosystem uh, for the cultivation of uh, uh, lychee and the medicinal aromatic crop uh, reason is that the, the few uh, um, aromatic and medicinal crops cultivate in the uh, orchard the farmer they have not aware about the where they sell those crops so uh, for that we develop our own separate company that's called viskesna uh, herbs and aromatic private limited that's work on the only medic- uh, me- uh, medicinal uh, herb ayush sector so we start giving uh, the uh, the price of the product at the farmer uh, level on the kg basis because the earlier farmer said their orchard the cost of the per plant will be come around 500 to 600 rupees when the farmer start selling their lychee on the kg basis the the cost of the that plants come to 2000 to 3000 rupees per plant so there is huge um, growth in the uh, income of the farmer uh, in the whole process uh, we do not involve child labor uh, we pay equal uh, pay for the men and women uh, while because the uh, lychee has three segment one is harvesting one is packaging um, grading and third is packaging so uh, plucking of the uh, fruits from the orchard is done by men uh, and the grading is done by women and the packaging is done by uh, man because the we divide on the basis of the uh, nature of work we divide the uh, labor so while working we also creating the social impact on the farmer life if you see that when uh, they the farmer centric model because the farmer have to not to move either and either to access the service where they have to sell what input they have to use in the uh, orchard um, where they can get from the logistics facility everything uh, we are the only point of contact for the farmers the uh, any problem faced by the farmer is solved by us through our model the income of the farmer has been doubled a uh, farmer are doing uh, uh, intercropping in the orchard and the pest the cost of pest control in the orchard is decreased by 40% because the inter uh, farmer doing intercropping of the turmeric and ginger so the 
both the crop have anti pest cap uh, capability that control the pest infection in the orchard so that the farmer is going to uh, the cost of investment is decrease on the pest management and the earlier we already told you about the uh, uh, increase in the for, uh, farmer income by selling the fruits on the kg basis it's our team so uh, dr andrati looks for the documentation part we look i look for the operational part mukesh looks for the um, marketing and the shivam looks the uh, farmer problem so he is agriculture graduate so that's fine uh, while working uh, we can't do any work uh, separate for that we need a complete ecosystem the ecosystem play a major role for the any person for the growth of any organization we tie up with the lichi research center we tie up with the ihr bangalore chhs epida bhai atomic manage spice jet for the logistic support system and because the without they we can't do lots of work because the for the technical knowledge we approach the icr institution uh, for the took the knowledge from that from there thank you uh, again what uh, i want to say that the major thing is that uh, in the uh, journey of the uh, while working our own venture is the painful job it's not the easy task uh, for anyone uh, that uh, make the recipe and uh, cook those uh, recipe in the kitchen because if you want to work in the field we have to you have to come with the certain solution for the particular farmer the target audience if the your target audience may be any farmer the farmer group may be something is the cotton growing farmer or a spice growing farmer you have to do some of the value addition if the turmeric grower uh, growing farmer because the if you see if, if i see that in the kerala there are lots of uh, farmer doing cultivation of turmeric and ginger so right now what happened the farmer cut the their um, uh, leaves and throw they are not doing value addition of the uh, leaf so with the support of csir we start doing the value addition of the turmeric leaf and the ginger leaf because the both the leaf have essential oil property so those property used for the developing some phytosutical content for the medicinal or pesticide Uh, because we have developed uh, one pesticide uh, pest control agent from uh, extracting the oil from the turmeric and ginger so the value addition of the every part again our uh, secondary company involved in the r&d on the lychee seed because we found the some phytochemical content in the lychee that can help the, for the curing the some diabetic and the liver related issue so we are developing on that right now that's in the animal trial phase after the completing the animal trial phase we move to the human trial after that we come with the some medicine come with the ayush medicine the uh, the field so is the very hard job is the we can't say that is the easy for everyone doing that because doing job in the any sector is the easy but while working taking the pain of everything sometimes you have no money to uh, to give you the salary to the uh, the employee you manage how is the very diff sometimes i face uh, some frustration uh, that i have if i have no money for the paying to the my staff i took a lot of step to uh, bring some of the funds from the uh, terms of loan sometimes i put uh, mortgage my wife jewelry to the bank to raise a fund is the uh, is the not the easy so every time we uh, come with the every in the lichi sector what we find that every year we come up with a new uh, problem so for the uh, next uh, season we come up with the solution for the that uh, so every season new problems comes maybe sometime logistics issue maybe sometime policy really issue uh, even sometime uh, epidemic of some uh, new uh, bug mealy bug and stream bug new epidemics comes in the lichi sometimes the uh, climate change okay uh, if you if we see that the um, lichi have uh, nectar uh, nectar uh, though if the 
most of the beekeepers are involved in the beekeeping so they put their box in the lychee orchard if the production of lychee uh, lychee honey is decreased we uh, forecast that the lychee production will be decreased so these are the few things uh, this comes to by observation while working on the field by sitting in the uh, ac room you can't find the any solution for any particular problem for understanding the problem with the solution you have to come on the field to understand the what's the problem uh, uh, what's their solution you have to negotiate with the government agency even you have to negotiate with the different stakeholder what the solution for that if any question i can uh, ready to take on that but actually when it when it is start up journey we uh, one of the uh, from your uh, uh, words itself i am just getting how did you come out of your frustration see one is your fund uh, mobilization you are you had two resources one is your loan another one is your wife's jewels and just uh, you are given already shared that but frustration is something which we can overcome by dependence uh, on counsel from mentors from people who have, who support us not mainly by funds by their words by their encouragement and also i would say spiritual intelligence is also very important depending on god so how did you come out of that because that will help us also to know when we uh, when we venture into a startup journey or for that matter anything related to frustration in day to day living whether uh, it is or otherwise uh, in my case uh, uh, only to overcome from the frustration i use only traveling because the while traveling in different different part of the india uh, we learn lots of the things because the every person have their own concept to come up with the, with the frustration some uh, person use yoga some person use meditation uh, for me traveling is the only solution to overcome from the frustration if i face much frustration in that case i do my backpacking and move to some of the area i don't know which area i have to move only for traveling for the two days and after the uh, returning back to uh, my work is the completely fresh so every person have their own uh, things to, to overcome with the problem in my case only traveling will help me thank you very much sir sir and uh, you, one of the uh, innovations generally is that how it is being accepted at home and in your profession definitely because you have already shared that dr arundhati uh, is your uh, from your uh, alumni uh, i mean which means he uh, is also really known in the profession when you wanted to start the startup this swift uh, uh, sema uh, company uh, how did your family members reacted were they supportive or what are the how did you visualize say, social entrepreneurship generally uh, we always say uh, social work is making others to give whereas here you have uh, sacrificed something uh, for the benefit of the society that's what we can see from what you have shared so what made you to do and what is the reaction and how you have to register uh, it as a company or uh, a sole proprietorship how it is so and then what are the things you have come up because that is what more important for a uh, new beginner who is aspiring to have a startup uh, in my case uh, i spent 2 to 3 year by traveling to different part of the india uh, in south ker uh, i have left not traveled kerala and northeast and rest and jnk rest of the part of india i have traveled uh, i do not stay in the hotels or the uh, urban area i mostly uh, spend my time in the rural area i found that the most of the farmer they have different mechanism in the karnataka what i found that the, the farmer have five acres of land he is managing a four wheeler in same case in the bihar if someone had 30 acres he can't manage two wheeler so uh, 
through that uh, i come to that there is increasing the person have the highest land in the bihar but they are not making too much money so i spent lots of time in while traveling interacting with the people trying to understand that problem what the problem and according to that problem i shift my policy and strategy that i have to work in the bihar because i got the lots of opportunity to work in the karnataka not only the karnataka maharashtra also lots of funding agency they told me if you work in karnataka i will provide two cr of uh, csr fund for your venture so i decide no i have to work in the bihar because the bihar is the toughest place to work when i uh, told my father that i am coming to bihar because the uh, due to uh, lalu prasad yadav uh, governance governance in the bihar our family faced a lot of trouble so they told me that migrate to migrate to the out of bihar what you want all my study completed in the hostel because the if you see that the lots of people spend their life uh, done studies from the home to college school in nursery i was in hostel so uh, from in the hostel i learned lots of the things we, lots of problem we have to solve our own when i told my father i am returning back and uh, going to uh, work on the uh, lychee sector so my father was not too happy because they know that the what's the bihar is and what's the environment of bihar and what's the culture uh, while traveling in the uh, farmer field and traveling with the rural area lots of people told me why you are working here they know it in this area best thing is that take a job two job is the best because the in bihar the mindset is only that doing the job not doing the business in gujarat mindset is that doing do business not the job so i spent a time in the uh, gujarat the lots of uh, entrepreneurial attitude comes from the those gujju family and gujju friend circle uh, they every every time they motivate uh, that no 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 you have to do something for your uh, estate and do something from uh, for your family and everything we, you have land because i have land uh, too, too much land and the uh, orchard lychee orchard and the mango orchard everything is, but no one is ready to manage those things all still what we found in the bihar that uh, the mostly educated uh, part of the uh, society had migrated to from bihar to the other part of the india for better livelihood better living standard and uh, even the job if you uh, what we say that uh, uh, in india they not a single place where bihari can't found it may be the labor it may be the uh, uh, higher post at every post you can you can find the bihari in those area because they know how to do work they are fast learner they adjust with the any environment so convincing the fa- fa- my uh, convincing to the my father that i have to work in it so still now he is not convinced every time you want the better work migrate to the out of bihar like but when he saw that the lots of farmer are getting motivated he not uh, speak on my face but the behind my face he told their friends no no he is doing good job because he is not uh, helping a uh, farmer but it helping also creating a environment to, uh, for the coming generation to invest money in the farming sector because the uh, land is not the issue land security is the issue what we forecast in every part of the india land security is going to one of the major challenges in the coming of uh, india uh, to uh, securing the land because the if the in if we what we see in the every part of the india the people from the urban rural area to migrate to urban area and some person take their lands 
you can't fight with the every person that's the one of the major problem what we find in the different while working with the farmer in different estate we find that this is the coming problem uh, to the farmer so he told that no through this model he is going to solve that also that problem also that's the major thing sometime a uh, father frustrate and uh, speaks lost of the things why you are working here migrate to this take the job what they are paying accept that uh, uh, salary do that work do not work in the bihar but uh, sometime he expect that no we want such person to work on that area that's the they mix uh, uh, things come from the family every family not in my family but every family wants that their uh, son or child have the strong financial uh, condition that he have to not to beg uh, for money to any person because he have seen that for money i speak with the lots of people on the phone uh, do personal meetings to bring the fund even uh, we gone uh, receive the funds we try to convince them to know uh this is the um, work if you can do you can do because they know that uh, they also know that we bring lots of fund uh, in csr activity for the lichi sector so is the mixed uh, feeling from my family side and uh, what i suggest uh, do not directly move for the company registration under the company act uh, best thing is that uh, um, while starting any work come with the proprietary form because the easy to uh, open and easy to close and uh, there is no cost for the proprietary form because the for the company registration uh, is the cost involving is the 20000 or as what the, the negotiation between the ca and the any individual the proprietary form there is no such an uh, act that claims that you have to come in this format to be registered uh, for the starting any work the best thing is doing uh, proprietary form is the best and after the certain growth period completing the growth period if the the model hits then uh, shift uh, those things uh, in the company under the company act and Uh, with the suggestion of ca uh, he or she can um, acquire those uh, proprietary firm again acquiring that proprietary firm in the under the company the the company turnover shows with the them also so this is the model what we suggest to the everyone thank you sir thank you sir for uh, sharing your valuable inputs sir uh, on this topic uh, sir i just wanted to ask you one question on to this uh, so have shared your challenges your experiences about your startup journey and how you could get into this field uh, just uh, if uh, there are so many budding entrepreneurs out there in this field uh, so what is your one piece of advice uh, which you as a uh, experienced person would like to give to any of the uh, budding entrepreneurs who want to enter this field or uh, just as a take home message maybe what is the one piece of advice which you would like to give to anyone who is interested in having a startup of its own uh what i think is uh, spend some of the time with the company involved in uh, working the in the same field uh work with the one or two year to understand uh, how they works what they are doing after spending one or two year he or she will understand the what he have to do second thing is that uh, kept money for the three year if you are want to do uh, some business uh, the you have to money for the three year the operational cost salary because what i face i don't suggest anyone to face such things so uh, because you you can live without your salary but your staff can't live without the salary they need the money so the for the salary part and different activity part you have to keep the money for the 3 3 years that's the major things uh, 
if they have kept the money for the three years for the expense, then no one going to be hurt and the every the business will be fine. What the same the that mistake I had done from the uh, that mistake I come with that no this is the solution that anyone wants to and the second the third thing is that identify the problem. What problem do you you want to solve? Because the there is lots of problem in the society. If anyone solve that problem, that will be directly help the farmer or any community that uh, the particular pro, uh, problem have particular solution. And the, on that solution, everyone wants the solution. If uh, I am the uh, logistics person helping the farmer in the logistics to do sending their lychee by air and the, by railway to any part of the India. The farmer, the problem is that uh, they have not uh, the access, bit, access of better market. So we have contact if I provide him the better access, the problem is going to be solved. So identify the problem and according to that problem, come up with the solution. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing your uh, thoughts about this. Uh, in case anyone else wants to ask uh, the resource person any question, please unmute your mic and please ask your question to sir. In fact, this session is also being transmitted live to our Facebook yeah. group of ignorance of the question. So we are also recording this session, so this will also be available under our YouTube channel of Ignore Regional Centre Coaching. So any doubts and queries uh, which may come also, it will be available in the comments part. So anyone out here wants to ask any doubts? Till people think of what to ask for the resource person, we take this opportunity also to share that the IGNO uh, programs are, uh, are also available in the SOYAM portal as courses, course-wise registration and admission for the January 2024 20, uh, session is open and please be benefited by enrolling into the IGNO programs into the, using the summer portal and also subscribe to uh, the YouTube channel for more new and be benefited of the various uh, sessions which has already been uh, recorded and placed in the um, playlist. And uh, the uniqueness of enrolling in the SOYAM portal is that you need not pay the registration fee or the program fee unless otherwise you want to give the exam. So if you are a slow learner or you want to plan or you want to get accustomed to the course material before writing the exam, then Swayam Portal enrollment for IGNO courses is the best way to get accustomed to the content of the uh, study materials. And friends, uh, as we come to close of this session and uh, we, uh, we uh, before thanking uh, the resource person, we uh, take this opportunity to share a small life skill. Uh, um, no, uh, I mean sharing only a life skill uh, technique or a small advice or a take home message which will be useful. That is, please take one day at a time. When many tomorrow seems to be very dark because of the past experience of yesterday and tomorrow, today, it is better that you take one day at a time and never give up. It is over only when you give up. So many may say hey, you cannot move ahead, you cannot uh, proceed further uh, things. No, it, they are all are human beings, and it is uh, uh, it is you who have to decide uh, uh, to move ahead. So don't give up, and always have spiritual intelligence that above all human beings who oppress oppress you. There is one God who is mediating everything. And so that uh, the God and you is majority. And I also always share about a very unique uh, story which I like the most is a donkey traveling with uh, the owner. And the owner uh, feels that the donkey is very old and he wants to throw it into the pit and through the pit. But the donkey is very optimistic. He thought, oh, so this owner is so old and he has missed me into this. Uh, pit. So, uh, and uh, he, whenever the owner was throwing mud, the donkey jumped and jumped. And at one point, 
it reached the eye level of the uh, owner and said, I know you will rescue me. So friends, our hurdles are for us to cross. When somebody is throwing mud at you, can you climb on it and say, yes, thank you, it reaches to my next level. And always when you turn back somebody's opposition, somebody's suppression, would only would have uh, initiated some trait of ability to speak out, ability to defend yourself and come up in life. So never take any hurdle as a negative thing or any oppression or suppression from any any or any challenges as a negative part. Uh, you can consider, you should please consider it as a uh, unique way given by uh, God or given by the society where you are living to move ahead to the next level. And always it is said, if you have, if you do not have money, we can give you money. But if you do not have education qualification, I cannot give my degree certificate and say, please have this. So you have to earn your uh, education qualification. See, uh, even from uh, some take message from the resource person, he has the heart to be with the local society, but his uh, uh, education qualification helped him to uh, uh, to link with various fund providers, with various professionals who can give insight to the thought and action, and also to have uh, something uh, to think beyond what is in the reality of only uh, taking the uh, source of income or to create income for others, sir has done. And uh, before um, Dr. Presita thanks the resource person, I uh, as the regional director express my gratitude for to you sir for being with us. And we are really grateful that you could be with us and share. And uh, generally we always look forward uh, for so many things and with you have shared it from your heart to all of us. And uh, we will be sharing this recorded videos to all our students uh, by placing it in our YouTube channel of IGNO Regional Center Kochi. And uh, we look forward for more interactions uh, in the days to come uh, with IGNO Regional Center Kochi. And thank you from all of us. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Yes. Uh, and over to Dr. Prasita Unikrishna to express uh, gratitude. We come to an uh, end of the session on behalf of all at the Innovation Centre Kuchin. I wholeheartedly express, uh, first of all, my gratitude uh, to the resource person for today's session, Sri Krishna Gopal Singhji. Uh, and uh, I am so much grateful to you, sir, because you uh, came at such a short notice uh, and you are very grateful enough to address all our learners. Uh, and I also express my gratitude uh, to Dr. Vishnu Mohandas who introduced me to the resource person. Uh, so I'm also grateful to him for introducing uh, me to the resource person. Next, I would also express my gratitude to our regional director, Dr. J.S. Tudoki Madam, under whose leadership and guidance we were able to hold this session. So my wholehearted gratitude to her as well. Uh, next, I would also express my sincere gratitude to my colleagues at Regional Center Coaching and the staff at IGNO Regional Center Coaching uh, because of whom the session could be conducted smoothly, especially Sri Muhammad Ansar and Ms. Uh, Reshma, who were behind uh, uh, transmitting the session uh, uh, session to Facebook Live, uh, uh, to our Facebook page of IGNO Regional Center Coaching. So my wholehearted gratitude to both Ansarji and Reshma uh, for uh, the back office operations of the session. Thanks a lot once again. And on behalf of all, once again, I express my gratitude to the students and to the study center at, under Ikno Regional Center Coaching who have participated in this session. And though they uh, did not ask any questions, we still express our gratitude for the presence, uh, especially to all the students and the study centers who have participated in this session. So once again, gratitude to one and all. Thank you. Yes, sir.